All right, what's going on, guys and gals? And we are back for another edition of Let's Play. And this week, we go back to the Mario franchise with Super Mario Bros. 2. And as you can see, I got an original in-the-box copy, which this is one of those I didn't have as a kid. I just recently purchased this one, and I got it from our good friends at Back to the Media in Chambersburg. They got a nice little retro game store there. They got their, like, it's mainly, what, NES, Super NES, PlayStation 1 and 2, Dreamcast, all the old systems, Atari 2600. So if you like anything that's retro gaming, go to that store at the Chambersburg Mall. So anyhow, let's go ahead and take it out of the box. And we got our original cartridge. And let's go ahead and slap this bad boy in. Okay, we are on our main screen now, and as I may have mentioned a minute ago, I didn't have this as a kid, but it was one of those that I've always either rented or borrowed from friends, so I'm somewhat, somewhat familiar with it. But many call this like the bastard of the franchise here, because there's no Goombas or no King Koopa. And of course, you know the story about how Nintendo kind of hid this for years about the fact that this is actually a rebadged game. Like, Japan actually had this, but it was titled Doki Doki Panic. And the real Mario 2 was basically a more difficult version of Mario 1. Of course, they kept this all secret until Mario All-Stars came out and renamed it the Lost Levels. Which we may do an attempt on that here soon, too. Alright. Go in here, get the health. And I almost always play this princess, because as you can see, she has the ability to fly. So long, enemies. See, like, she can fly right across this. But I like it because it's kind of unique as compared to the others. Because you can play as, like, any of the four characters. Where on the other two, you're basically trying to rescue the princess. Like, the shy guys, they showed up in this game. I think they're what the Goombas would have been on the other two. Go in here. Alright, we just stopped the enemies. Alright, let's get some health. Alright, that's four chances at slots. Oh, I forgot you could power jump. I totally forgot about that. It's like, uh, I gotta take a shit. <laughs> I, I completely forgot about that move. It's been 30 years since I've played this, so give me a break. All right, and we got Birdie. And he's usually a pretty easy fight. He's like a three-hit deal. I think it's funny how his mouth expands like a butthole trying to take a shit. <laughs> All right, and now we beat him. We're going to gamble. Let's get some extra lives. Nope. Find them be that way.
All right, so now you got to get on this owl. Look out. Are you kidding me? I can't even freaking go in there. Alright. See if that door comes back. Uh, I guess not. I kind of screwed myself on that one. door here. Here we go. Oh, damn it. I'm going to try and go back and get that health. Here we go. And a chance at the slots. I gotta go back in there and get that key, don't I? I guess not. Uh. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> That's definitely a beer burp. Boom. All right, so the strategy for better health here is you got to break these out. Boom. All right, we'll put our makeshift door up. All right, now we're at full health. This is one thing I don't like about this game. It's just the fact that you lose all your health after you fight Birdie. Like when you go on to another level, you go back to your two your two diamonds. Like really? I can't keep that? Alright, so off to fight Birdie again. Once again, three hit deal. And he's done. We'll get our health back. Oh, so much for that. Oh, wait. We'll go as Princess again. Those enemies stopped. That was stupid. For the slots. It's almost impossible to get five coins in that. Alright, so we're back to this. The strategy here is you got to stack these mushrooms up to get up on this platform. Do the little 
home base. Now we have to get the key. Uh-oh, where'd it go? There it is. I thought that face would go after you when you have the key, but I mean, where's he at now? Oh, there he is. What you do is you put it down for a little bit to get, keep him away. Ooh, that guy was shooting at me there. There we go. We made it! Whoa. Invincibility, yes. Uh oh. I think we got the first boss. more chances. He's one tough bastard, too. All right, let that go off. Oh, we got one hit. Oh, that was a dumb choice. Two hits. I hope he I hope he's a three hit deal. Yes. Ah. And an extra life to boot, yeah, buddy. Go. Let's do princess again. Or, I mean, what did I say there? That sounded so derogatory. That's what Mario did to her whenever <laughs> he saved her in the first game. Look at these things.
I wonder what was under there. All right, here we go. I'm not going to attempt that. All right, health. Slot, slot. I actually think Mario 3 kind of took the same approach here with their second level being desert. I didn't even think about that before. Oh, fireballs. Oh, quicksand. Oh, shit. All right, so the goalie here, I guess, is to dig your way through. So we got to get down the ladder. Another birdie? Sure is. Holy shit, that's kind of weird. You got to fight him from both angles, too. All right, there he is. Crap. He's kind of harder to fight from the right side. Three hit deal? Yes. And we gamble. Extra life? Yes, we need that. Level 2-2. Two, two. See, it's like World 2 in both Mario 2 and 3 are desert lands. Watch out for the quicksand. Alright, what's under the grass here? Yeah, that was retarded. Alright, here we go. Doki Doki Panic. Alright, let's get us some health. And slots. Oh, excuse. Like pumpkin? All right, now that's another aspect that you didn't, you don't often see on Mario Two, like the turtle shell. I'm not even gonna try that. Quicksand. All right, here we go. Yeah, one more chance at slots, I guess. I tell you what, the enemies are rampant here in this one. Uh oh.
There we go. Alright, get us some health here. That was desperately needed. <laughs> Alright. Well, I guess I can't go any further than that. All right, back to this. Oh, nice, I got two at once there. Oh, there's those cactuses again. Oh, I'm dead. Oh, I thought I was... Oh, that was close. Damn. All right. Down the vine. We'll get another one of those dig levels. All right. Well, there you have it. I hope you enjoyed this run of uh, Super Mario Brothers 2 here on the NES which is really a rebadged version of Doki Doki Panic. And maybe we'll do the real Mario 2 in a later video on All-Stars on the Lost Levels, so... I hear that's hard as hell, so we'll find that out later. Peace out.